Hello everyone, welcome to the TV show that answer all your questions about the ocean. Welcome to the Blue World. The question of the day is how plastic end up under our feet. First, we will join our journalist, joining the Josta, and a special guest who will tell you more about the effects of plastic. Report by Ellie Brown and James Anderson. Well, Lily, today I want to ask you some questions about plastic in the ocean. But is plastic really a problem for our precious earth? Well, yes, plastic is a big problem for all of us and for our health. Look at the climate change, which directly affects people's livelihood, food production capability, and social well being. Okay, I think it's sad for the world. But what are the different plastic effects? Well, plastic have, have uh, five dominant effects it fills the environment with debris, contaminates our food, causes a wide range of no and unknown alignments bolsters the most destructive industry on Earth. Do you think plastic can infect the human body? Of course, people are generally not aware of it, but plastic can have impact on the human system and cause respiratory impact or lead reduction in fertility and cause and cancer increase. Wow, this is huge. Well, thank you, Lily. Thank you, Joylin, for this report. Now we will interest ourselves in how water tables are functioning. Thank you, Wen. Welcome, Phoebe. We are honored by your presence today. Thank you. Phoebe, can you tell us how water tables work? Yes, a water table is some water under the ground, but at a shallow depth. People usually think that it's just a hole full of water, but it's not. It's some porous or cracked rocks which let the water infiltrate. Oh, okay, I really thought they were just a hole. So plastic is in the water that infiltrates the water table. Exactly. It's because of the water cycle. There's water with plastic in the ocean. It evaporates into clouds, moves, and then goes back down on Earth, either in water table or back in the ocean, and it restarts. I can also show you a little experiment, which will explain in more detail how the water table works, how plastic goes in there, and then in the water we drink. Yeah, sure. These small tubes can represent wells or large holes, and I help us to see the level of water pollution in the tables. This experiment is based on showing how water with plastic circulates through the table. To do this, we used particles from plastic bottles. Let's assume that water comes through this faucet, following the water circle, and that it comes out of this pipe to be used by people. Let's start the experiment. First, we need to put the exit tube vertically, so the water doesn't come out. Then, we put the water in the container by the faucet. You can see the plastic particles in the color of the water. So, thanks to the small tubes, you can see that there is a lot of plastic in the tables. Now, we will put down the exit tube and the polluted water comes to us. Thank you very much for your explanations, Phoebe. It was a pleasure. The pleasure was mine. Dear viewers, I hope we've been able to help you to understand how plastic ends up under our feet and how it affects us all everywhere. Mm -hmm.